In this video, I'll be demonstrating two procedures. First is the hysteroscopic moisture excision of the endometrium, and the second case will be an endometrial polyp resection. This lady was 33 year old with a BMI of 44, suffering from polycystic ovaries with a previously diagnosed endometrial hyperplasia without atypia six months back. This is a follow-up procedure which picked up a very thick endometrial lining and an outpatient procedure showed thick polypoid endometrium. Marsha was used to resect the thickened endometrium all throughout the endometrial cavity. You can see there is no definitive evidence of an endometrial polyp and more or less the stroscopic findings didn't look suspicious apart from a thick endometrium. She was using oral progesterone to regress the endometrial hyperplasia. After the biopsy, she'll be followed up with the results and if it is normal, she'll have another biopsy in six months time. This was an office procedure. She took some painkillers before the procedure and went home five to 10 minutes after the procedure. This patient is a 55 year old postmenopausal lady who had a postmenopausal bleeding. Ultrasound scan was performed which showed thick endometrium of 23 millimeter following which an outpatient hysteroscopy confirmed an endometrial polyp. An opportunistic marsha was performed which picked up a right lateral wall one and a half centimeter endometrial polyp. Endometrial polyp was excised with the myosha. Classically, endometrial polyps would have a feeder vessel and it may bleed during the procedure, just like this. To overcome this, it is essential to resect the base which will stop the bleeding. This was performed as an outpatient procedure with simple analgesics taken by patient an hour before the procedure. She went home five to 10 minutes later on and will be followed up with a biopsy. This ensures complete excision of endometrial polyp. Thank you for watching.